Welcome to the Kroll FTP tutorial. I will be going over how to utilize our FTP at a basic level. Some points I will be covering are how to log in using FTP software, how to download images, and how to open data files in Excel. Most web browsers no longer support FTP links. We suggest using a free FTP software such as FileZilla or WinSCP. For this tutorial, I will be using FileZilla. You will need a username and password. If you do not have these, contact your sales rep or customer service and they will process your request. Open FileZilla and first go to Edit, Settings, FTP, and check to make sure Passive and Allow Fallback are checked. These should be marked by default. Now click OK. Now begin filling in your credentials. Host is the server address. Username is your customer ID. Enter your password and type 21 for port. Now click Quick Connect. Once connected, you should see two folders pop up on the right, product data and product images. We will start with product images. When you click on it, you will see several folders. Our images are separated by product group. To download the images, simply drag the folder or files over to the left. This will save the files to your system in the location of your choice. Once complete, we can see that the files have been saved to the computer. Now moving on to product data. This folder contains all the information needed to populate your website with listings. For example, stockable items, inventory, complete catalog, and so on. I recommend looking at the Kroll FTP site documentation PDF to get a more in-depth understanding of all the files listed. I will download the stockable file as our example. Drag and drop the file to the location of your choosing. Now that the file download has completed, rather than opening the file directly, we want to launch Excel and open the file within it. You may need to change the file type to text files for it to show up. Next, you will see an import wizard come up. Be sure to keep it as delimited and then click next. Now you will want to make sure only the tab box is checked. This will sort all of the data into the proper columns as shown here in the preview. Now click next. This section is one of the most important parts. This will determine the data format of the columns once it is completely imported. Now we need to change some of the columns to text. Product SKU, Product Group, UPC Code, Manufacturer part number, complete SKU, and parent SKU. If we kept these as general, it would cause formatting issues. Now click Finish. You will see that all the data columns are organized. It helps to apply a filter to the data header. This will allow you to isolate certain manufacturers or categories. You may notice that certain cells are blank. This is because some products are listed as parent products. These products are used to group product variations. 
Again, you can refer to the Kroll FTP site documentation PDF for information on all the columns in the catalog files. That covers importing a data file into Excel. Feel free to reach out to IT support if you have any questions, and thank you for being a Kroll partner.